William, hopefully your favorite videographer. We are here at the Dallas Area Rapid Transit Board Meeting, the agency known as DART to Dallas, Texas residents. As a service to the Dallas community, we plan to cover DART board meetings from gavel to gavel. Public comments are required to keep DART board aware of issues close to the ridership that they may not get through other resources. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is now 6.36 p.m. today. Tuesday, January 12th, 2016, and we will begin our DART Board of Directors board meeting. Happy New Year to everyone. The first item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from December 8th. Are there any corrections to the minutes? Okay, the minutes will stand as written. The next item we have is the our most valuable driver recognition. Mr. Douglas, and who's helping you with that? Uh, JT Taylor It's coming with me. Uh, normally, uh, Keith England is here. He's our general manager of MV Transportation. Uh, unfortunately, his home was one of the homes devastated in the tornado, and he, he and his family have been completely dislodged, not able to be with us tonight. Yeah. But uh, we do have three presentations tonight. Uh, the first is our most valuable driver for the winter 2015, and that driver is Ronald Mitchell. Ronald has been a great addition to the Yellow Cab Paratransit Division. Mr. Mitchell spent six and a half years in the U.S. Army uh, during the Reagan and George Bush administration. That's George Bush Sr. And he then moved to Denver to work with the Colorado Police Department where he worked as a law enforcement officer for nine years. He moved to Mesa, Arizona where he continued to raise his sons ages 26, 25, 23, and 15. And he started the taxi service aspect of his life in 2011 where he received ADA training with Discount Cab that services the Phoenix-Tucson area. He was given instructions on wheelchair and stretcher transportation as well as proper customer service. In mid-December of 2014, he moved to the Dallas area and he came on board with Yellow Cab slash Dart in February of 2015. And since February, he has earned 11 commendations, has an average on-time performance rating at 94.6%, and has had zero verified complaints. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Ronald Mitchell as Yellow Cab's most valuable driver of the quarter 2015. He'll be receiving a plaque, a pen, a check for $150 from DART matched by MV Transportation. Congratulations. Thank you. So the rest will be coming? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we're going to get a picture. Congratulations. Our next uh, driver is uh, MV, uh, excuse me, MV Transportation's most valuable driver for the winter of 2015. And this is on the van side, and his name is Craig Allen. Uh, Craig has uh, began his career with MV Transportation on November 27, 2012. He has been a dedicated and loyal employee for three years, servicing areas throughout the Dallas Metroplex. He started as a paratransit driver, but decided to join DART on call, uh, the team uh, servicing the Glen Heights area. Mr. Allen has never been in any accidents, nor, any has he, nor has he had any complaints, but has received numerous commendations for his five-star customer service in Glen Heights. Mr. Allen takes pride and joy in his job, and he is a pleasure to be around. This fall, Craig participated in the first dart rodeo and placed second overall in the van competition. His goal is to become the first place winner next year and represent dart and MV at the national competition. Craig uh, demonstrates daily the importance of being a safe, courteous, and friendly driver. He is a father of five and has two grandchildren. He is also a diehard San Diego Chargers and Golden State Warrior fan. <laughs> <coughs> Please. 
going to the Mavs game tonight. Uh, please join us in congratulating Mr. Craig Allen as MV Transportation's most valuable driver for the winter of 2015. He will also be receiving a plaque, a pen, $150 from DART, matched by MV Transportation. Thank you. Thank you. Our last recipient is not able to be with us this evening. That's Shatira Carroll. She's the most valuable driver for the year of 2015. She will also be receiving a plaque, a pen, a check from DART for $500 matched by MV Transportation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doug, and congratulations to all the recipients. Okay, the next item we have on the agenda are public comments. And public comments are, will be allowed at the beginning of each dartboard meeting for a total of 30 minutes. And again, at the end of the meeting, when the 30-minute period does not accommodate all persons who have signed up to speak. Individuals who have addressed the board in the past 30 days will be recognized to speak during the public comment period at the end of the meeting. During the public comment period, board members may not interact with speakers or other board members by asking questions or offering their own comments. Members of the public are reminded that their behavior during dartboard meetings is governed by the dartboard code of conduct for citizens, news media, and visitors. Personal attacks, impertinent and slanderous remarks, and boisterous conduct will not be allowed. Each speaker will have three minutes to address the board. The green light on the podium will indicate when you can begin speaking. The yellow light indicates you have one minute remaining, and the red light indicates that your time has expired. Our first speaker this evening is Ms. Brenda Blair, followed by Norman Nelson. Ms. Blair. Thank you for allowing me to speak. Um, well, I wanted to address the board uh, about a comment and a complaint. And I think this is the time to make those comments, right? Okay. Well, first, uh, the complaint. And the complaint has to do with on December the 11th, there was a driver, and I only have the vehicle number, uh, near, that was driving the 24 Capital. And this particular driver wanted to pass me up and because he assumed that there was a gentleman I was talking with. However, that gentleman was actually trying to attack me. And this particular driver, uh, I had to request that he stopped. And when I did finally board his bus, then I was trying to make him listen because I really wanted to compliment him for finally stopping, but then he didn't listen and it turned into a complaint as of now. And uh, the other, the other um, compliment, which I hope he will be accommodated, is a driver named Milton Brown. Uh, he drives the 554. We've known him for years, but only as far as the bus driver, maybe for about maybe 11 and i'm hoping i told him that i would share this with you guys and well that's basically all i have to say thank, thank you. you thank thank you for coming to speak with us uh newbie okay mr newbie is going to speak with you for a moment please miss blair that's him with his hand up okay all right, Mr. Nelson, Norman Nelson. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, that, complete, that completes our public comments. Next item on the agenda is item number five, which is coming from the Administrative Committee, Mr. Enoch.
Okay, we have a motion for Mr. Enoch and a second for Mr. Carrizales. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. Okay, the item moves unanimously. It's approved. Okay, we have no further comments. Anyone else want to make a public comment? Okay, having said that, it is now 6.46 p.m. and this meeting stands adjourned. everyone to see. If you like or hate this video, tell us. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, tell us. We even love it when you call. Better yet, like or follow us on Facebook or subscribe to us on YouTube and get instant notices of all our videos the moment they are posted.